pretty calm night up in the mountains. A live look here from downtown Blowing Rock. It's the Christmas season is clear. The flag, American flag there, just moving ever so slightly out there. So the winds have really died down quite a bit in the mountains since even this morning. Our meteorologist John Aarons is in Severe Weather Center 9. John, uh, you saw the wind did cause a lot of damage, though, in some areas. Oh, absolutely, Erica. Up and through Avery, Ash County, Watauga County. I want to show you this video from Ash County. The wind caused so much damage that the school district actually had to call off classes today. Now, meteorologist Tony Sadiku, he was up there and checked out for himself. The wind's finally subsiding here, but not before cranking up to near 70 miles per hour and leaving quite a bit of damage. Here at Ash County High School, you can see contractors have gone to work to repair the roof damage that closed an entire county school district today. Winds Wednesday night came with a vengeance, completely flipping over this cast iron bench and blowing down 120 feet of fencing around the Ash County High School Stadium. But superintendent of schools, Phyllis Yates, says the most significant damage was inside. It would just lift the roof up and then it would just throw it back down. And there is some piping where you can see where it's scraped at about three foot. You can see where it scraped that piping for three foot. And that's how far up into the air that it lifted that roof. The worst at this school. But Yates says it was enough for her to be cautious about letting anyone go to school today. I thought if we've had this kind of damage at the high school, there's that a very good possibility that there's been damage at the other schools. Near hurricane force wind gusts launching 30 to 40 pound drainage pipes from the roof like they were missiles, leaving a mess in the auditorium. The district maintenance director shot this video as he scoped out the damage early this morning. Yeah, I don't want to be underneath that. And thankfully, no kids were underneath it during the violent winds. God, thank you. Because we didn't have anybody here. Because I'm telling you, uh, at that point, you would have seen, if you seen some of that piping and those jagged edges and all that, uh, you would know what would happen if people were hit with that. I'm told it could take a few weeks before the auditorium is back open. Inspectors went to schools across the district today to make sure that everything is safe and schools will be back open as normal tomorrow. Back to you. 